Hey, what's up guys? It's Mickey Maniac here. Today, I, today I'm today i going to do my first ever, what you call, a marathon. So, yeah, what am I going to do on a marathon of? Well, here is one thing. I used to remember I did the Jackson's Monster Madness Party where I did horror movies with on. Unfortunately, that didn't work out very well. But then I, I but then later this morning, I thought me, or actually no, not this morning, a few minutes ago before I filmed this, I was like, maybe I should do the Disney movies. Maybe just a few random ones, not like all of them, but you know. But instead, a nostalgia critic already did that, so I can't do that. So what is it that nobody has done yet? Ooh, DreamWorks, DreamWorks Animation. Now, I gotta admit, DreamWorks animation is like, is like second best out of the greatest animation movies other than Pixar. I mean, there was only one, just one movie that was better than all the Pixar movies, which I gotta admit, which I gotta admit. <clears throat> but you know, DreamWorks animation has got a lot of good, lot of good movies and a lot of disappointing ones. Yeah, it's gone through its successful days, it's gone through its failure days, you know, all that. So, yeah, let, let's dive into what I call DreamWorks a thon. Now, I'm going to review the DreamWorks animated, anime movies, no like Transformers or those movies, just the animated ones. The ones that we were going with. Now, the first uh, DreamWorks movies that have, has ever been made, and probably the greatest anime movies of all time for me, <clears throat> is Ants. One of my favorite movies of all time. I love it. I mean, I love it. I grew up with this movie. As a kid, I freaking love this movie. I mean, every time whenever, like, Woody Allen starts saying, Youch! I start, I start saying that as my usual daily life, what I say. That's how much I love it. It's really good. It's like in my top ten my favorite movies. It's really that good. So, yeah. So, what's the story here? Okay, it's, this is very hard to explain because it's a little bit long, but I'll try to get this as short as I can. So, the movies is about Z, an, a, a usual ant worker. Well, he's played by Woody Allen. A, a, usual, um, a usual ant worker who just hates his life and it's so boring and he just wishes he wasn't a worker and just wish he was something else. But then later, but then later after he was talking to his... Um, Soldier Pal, played by Soldier Pal Weaver, played by Sylvester Sloan. He see he sees a beautiful princess named Princess ba Princess Bala, played by Sharon Stone, and soon, and he dances with her. But then later he starts to notice that she's a princess, and there's no way to get her back. So what does he do? Well, he's he had an idea of him and Weaver switching places. Weaver was a soldier ant, and Z was a worker ant, so they switched. So now Z is a soldier serving for an army, and then uh, and then he had to fight termites. But then he was the only survivor, and yeah, trying to guess how he survived it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so yeah, and then uh, we get, so yeah, and then later when he comes back to see the print, when he comes back and sees the princess, then that's when he gets in big trouble, and that's when he starts doing the the adventure. He goes on an adventure with Princess Bala. Well, he try, well, he tries to defend himself with capturing her and acting like a bad guy, but then like sucks through this uh, vault, no, some kind of garbage can thingy. I don't know, but I like it. Oh, but there's one more thing to talk about other than just the plot. The villain's plan. General Manable, played by Gene Hackman. Which his plan was is to uh, wipe out all the entire colony of wimpy and work whippy worker ants and replace it with a new with a new colony of strong soldier ants that's a pretty interesting villain right there and he's also got a sidekick played by christopher walken now not only the story sounds great but also the voice acting there are lots and lots of good voice actings i mean you know a lot so, like, for example, Woody Allen. He was probably the best parts of the whole movie. Now, this was his first and last time doing anime movies. Unfortunately, he hated doing anime movies. Because, one thing, he likes doing his films really quickly. But, uh, this whole anime thing took him a little too long. And he didn't like it. 
And also, much, much like of this character Z, kind of is kind of like the is kind of acting like the real life Woody Allen, which he's kind of got a little embarrassed. Kind of feel bad for him at the same time, but he was really good. He was funny. There was also Sharon Stone as Princess Bala. She was really great. There was also um, Sylvester Stallone as Weaver. I mean, man, I never knew that in him in anime and movies like this was really good. I wish he would keep doing that. Except that in except that he started in a Kevin James movie where he was a tiger. He was in the zoo, Zookeeper. You know, I don't know. Um, yeah, then there's also Gene Hackman, the awesome villain of the movie. I mean, you know, whenever I think of Gene Hackman, I always think of Lex Luthor, but, well, that's what most people think of him, but whenever I think of Gene Hackman, I think of him as a scary big soldier head. And he's got a sidekick with him, Christopher Walken as Cutter. Instead of his awkwardness of him, he is one of those awesome, he's one of those awesome movies. He's one of those awesome movies, and that's what he's like in this movie. He's awesome. Who else was there? Well, there was also um, the Queen, and I forgot who was played by, who was played by, but she was really great too. Um, oh yeah, Jennifer Lopez as Azteca, she's really good too. I mean, not much to say about her, but she's really interesting and really good. Then, um, but my most favorite part of the, my most favorite guy around the cast is Danny Glover, is Danny Glover as Barbados. I freaking love uh, Danny Glover. He was probably my favorite parts of the whole movie. I mean, he doesn't get that much lines and doesn't get much out of much scenes. I mean, he was only in the termite scenes, but he was really great. So yeah, what else I liked about this movie? Well, the animation. This is what you call stunning. I mean, at this when this movie this movie came out in 1998, and so does Bugs Life. And yes, there are two major differences. One thing that in ants, it's more dirtier, it's more realistic, and you know, yeah. But in Bugs Life, well, it's a kid. In Bugs Life, well, it's a kids movie. You can just, just. And I do have to admit, with ants, I'm not sure if this movie is either kids or adults. It could be both. Well, here's why. Cause you know what? I used to remember as a kid. I used to remember they had a. A lot of swearing. I mean, seriously, there was a bunch, a bunch, and it's like, uh, don't you, don't you know that kids are gonna watch this? And they big, and you know all that, and some things are kind of a little appropriate. Like I used to remember this one that thing I heard. And see, I don't know if this really happened, but I was looking at IMBD, and I don't know if you want to hear this. It's really disgusting. But if you really want to know. Click this link right here if you really want to know, because, jeez, I'm not going to tell you. So, yeah, but it is really kind of really disgusting. But, yeah, that's the kind of thing. It's kind of like Roger Rabbit. It's like, you can't either tell this movie is for kids or adults. I say it's both. I say it could be both. I mean, I liked it as a kid, and today, even though I'm not an adult yet, but it is still pretty cool. So, yeah, and, sorry, anything else to say? Well, I guess that's it. There's actually really nothing wrong. It's one of those my favorite movies of all time because I grew up with this movie. So, yeah, this movie is just really fantastic. I love it. Everything's great. And everything's great. The voice acting, the animation, the style. It's, it's one of those awesome movies that you have to see that are really good. And also, it's not really, I heard it got really popular when it got in theaters, but now people just don't remember it. I don't get it, but, you know, I mean, you know, come on, get like blue, I mean, come on, I mean, this is a perfect chance to get Blu-ray to get more money. Get ants on, put ants on Blu-ray, get more people to see or release this back to theaters in 3D or something, I don't know, do something like that. Lots of people need to see this because it is a really good movie. Now, I gotta admit, most of my friends don't like this movie because one thing, they think it's really annoying or boring and inappropriate, but that yeah, those are my friends. So, yeah, um, what about I give this movie a rating? I give this a quality plus. That means four pluses. But yeah, that means it's one of those movies that's in my top ten favorite movies list. So, yeah. So, yeah, DreamWorks has really outdone it. I usually think that Pixar was could be better i always think that pixar is always like i don't know like if it was in my favorite movies it will always be better than dreamworks animation 
But DreamWorks Animation not only have one hit that just BAM went up up to the sky like a rocket. So yeah, that is my first. So yeah, that is my first uh, DreamWorks DreamWorks a thon movie review. Stay tuned. Stay tuned next time where I review Prince of Egypt. Like and subscribe. Ultimate question today is: What do you think of ants? Do you think it's forgettable, or do you think it's not, or do you think it's memorable and awesome? Comment that. Comment that below. Below. Check out my other videos. We're up there. Like and like and subscribe. And see ya.